two nails in every single tile. Will has absolutely smashed down the alley tricks. Boreta, which is good morning in Welsh. Boreta, is that right? God, yeah, good, boom. Okay. Sounds Spanish. Good morning, guys. It's another day on site. It's not a beautiful day miserable it's british summer so what do we expect it's gonna be rubbish isn't it we're gonna get like one nice day out of about 600 anyway i'm not gonna start the day off on a negative note i'm gonna start off on a positive note we're all here we're all doing well will is on the roof yes oh, how we doing, boy? sorted mate so will is gonna start smashing this out for us now which is gonna be absolutely amazing this. looking forward to this just to get this all covered in will be really, really good. So Will is going to be cracking on with that. I'm going to crack on with the fascias. So we've got our soffit board there. We've got our fascia boards there. Just got to basically get them all primed up, get the first coat on them, get all our edges sealed. Alex is up there. He's going to be getting the lintel in across here from what will be the dormer. So that's going to be obviously the dormer window in there. He'll be getting the top lintel in to take the brickwork above the window. And then we're going to be sort of leaving that over there for today. That's that's basically what's going to be going on. So let's crack on with it. Good morning, everyone. Lovely day. Day, as you can see the skies are full of it today but just a little bit of drizzle and i'm gonna be honest with you i don't mind it i think it's quite nice i've had it quite hot the last few days so it makes a nice little change for the temperature to drop start of the day wasn't too good had a bit of a wardrobe malfunction with my tool belt it's broken so i've had to adjust and i've put all my stuff here onto the side and i've got my nails in there it's not ideal but it's only going to be for today anyway today's plan I'm gonna start tiling this roof here. If you look, I haven't battened this section out here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tile this section all across here. Now the reason I'm doing that is because this roof's getting resi tricks and everything you see. So we don't wanna literally get the resi tricks on first and then start tiling all the roof. Because what that would do then is of all the debris, you'd have a risk of a tile falling down. Not that it would pierce the resi tricks because it's bulletproof, but we don't want it, it's not ideal. We don't want a tile slipping, falling down piercing a hole in the resi tricks or bouncing down and smashing the new skylights that are going inside into this flat roof so we thought it's best to tile it up first and then once we've got this side tiled and that side tiled we could then jump on the alley tricks first the vapor barrier then boarding it then resi tricks so yeah that's pretty much it for today that's going to be the plan hopefully the weather just stays like this nice bit of drizzle be lovely so anyway let's get cracking shall we right then guys I want to quickly show you something. So what we have to do now is that we have to nail every tile with two nails on every fifth core. So you can see there, that's what we've got to do now. Two nails in every single tile. Then what I do is, I then count that five, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll put another little mark. We've got a little squiggly line there. That's there just to remind me that I need to nail that course. So then what I do is you count one, two, three, four, five, and then you've got another squiggly line on the bottom. Good morning guys and welcome along to another day on site. So we're short staffed today, but we're struggling on. It's Friday, so why not? Will is smashing the roof out. Look at that, boom. Yes, Will. Pete is here. Pete's feeling a bit delicate today, aren't you Pete? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna poke you in the belly or anything. <laughs> yeah. So yesterday I started getting these fascias on around here and this morning I'm gonna get these on down here. So what I've done, set myself up the string line, run that right the way across. So that just makes sure then when I'm putting these on, because they are two and a half meter lengths, well, 2.4. When I'm putting these on, I make sure they're exactly where they need to be. I can also check underneath. So our little rebate, which is here, which we got in the back, that will house our soffit board. So I can make sure as well, check as I go along, that's going to fit in nicely. And that should give me a bang on line. So the top of our roof is perfectly straight. And also the bottom will house our soffit. So yeah, that's it. So only me and Will here today. Pete's here at the minute, but he's going to be shooting off to another job pretty soon. So we're going to be without you, Pete. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get on with it.
So all our fascias on this side are now on. So you can see they're all nicely fixed in. All we've got to do is basically leave this end one out. If I can get down here, it's a bit of a squeeze. So this end one isn't properly fixed in yet. This is just temporary. The reason being is that obviously we need to keep the ply under this protected. We don't want this getting wet. So we've obviously got our plastic over the top to prevent any water going through. But what that also means is we are due a bit of bad weather over the weekend. And if we fix this in, we're going to end up with basically a paddling pool on here. And if the weather's nice next week, that would be pretty good to be fair. What do you reckon we'll have, have a paddling pool? We can just chill out at break time. Obviously not a few beers, a few fizzy pops or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or an ice pole or a, yes. or a tippy top, whatever a you call it. A tippy top. Ice pops, pops, mate. Ice pops. Where I'm from, Essex, call it an ice pole. But when I moved here to Leamington, they call them tippy tops. Never heard that before, so what do you call an ice pole? What were they? Mr. Freeze. Other ice pops are available. But let us know in the comments what you call them. I call them ice pops. You call them what? Ice poles? Ice, ice poles. Yeah, or and tippy then, tops. And then in Leamington, they call them tippy tops. <laughs> Something like tip -tops, tip let us know let us know what it is in your area because i'm actually quite interested it's mad on it how there's like so many different <laughs> phrases for things yeah, different parts of the country yeah brilliant. anyway back back to the job at hand yeah what we're gonna do i'm basically just gonna take this one out later lap our plastic over and just create a bit of a, a water run so the water can get out here it's all cut ready to go we just need to properly fix it it's just got a few pinning it in for now so i'm just gonna move around the rest of the building now and start on the other side and leave one over here he is doing a absolutely amazing Amazing job as ever, I'd expect nothing less. So it's just got a few more to cut in up there. You got a lot of cuts on here. Loads all up that side, obviously, because the building is at a bit of an angle to the extension. So that is all cuts all the way up there. Right, Will's waiting for me to finish talking so he can cut this. So I'm gonna go now. Let's carry on. Good morning, guys, and welcome along to another day on site. We've got lots of stuff going on. It's ram packed. We love it. So, Will, hi, Will. Hi. Will is smashing the roof out. I'll show you this side that he's already done. We have lots of tiles on the roof. Got all the soakers in it there as well. So we're just waiting on the bottom courses. We need to get this finished, which I'll talk about in a minute, before he can get his last ease on there and his vent on. Uh, and obviously we're going to get all the residue on this roof before the last tiles can go on across there as well. But that will be got on later on this week. So basically just going to do the same on this side. Get all this up to a certain point ready so then we can do the flat roof and then finish that off. Alex and Joe are dancing. Stairs. So basically we've got a lot of props in here, a lot of strong boys in and we're going to have a steel going across here. There's going to be two steels that will go across here to carry the inner and outer skin of this wall. And then this will uh, slightly shorten down to 1600. Uh, so that will give us an opening. We're going to have two pocket doors here. So that will give us an opening into what will be the boot room. So in here what we're doing, obviously all this is being stripped out. This timber lintel is coming out and we're getting a proper steel put in there. We're gonna get a plate while we're getting a plate wire on the bottom so it will carry our rafters across. So that's the next job is basically to take all this lot out here, all these joists out, uh, and then we can start getting this area propped and ready for the new steel to go in there. The boiler is currently there and we need the boiler to be moved so we can get our new joist run across here. We've got a lot of pipe work in the way. So what we've decided is we're gonna get a temporary electric shower upstairs in the bathroom. So that will give the clients a shower while there's no boiler because there's a bit of a delay on the boiler with everything that's going on at the minute we're having a bit of a nightmare with waiting times and that sort of stuff so it's been delayed a couple of weeks so that does mean that they're gonna the clients are gonna be without a boiler but they're happy to do that so me and Pete are working on these barge boards so we've got this lovely bit of the peely timber here the reason we're using that is because it gives us the length that we want in one piece rather than having joints. If we were going to use some of the MDF, we'd have ended up with a joint because it's only available. Well, we could only get it in the two and a half meters. You can get it in a three meter length, but we couldn't get any of that. So two and a half meters, we would have had a join up here, which we didn't want. I didn't really know what speed he was, so I did a bit of research on it last night. And it's African in origin. They grow an average of 45 meters tall, and they can grow up to 60 meters, so it's a massive tree. It's a really tight grain as well. It's a brilliant hardwood to use. So this is absolutely perfect for what we're doing here. It's a shame that we're gonna have to paint it, to be completely honest. It would be nice to keep it like this stain it up or something but obviously it wouldn't really fit well with the rest of the build so hi Pete me and Pete are gonna get all this machined up ready I'll talk you through all the details as we do it So 
So just to give you a bit of an explanation of what's going on out here. So this is going to be our fascia that runs around like this and then we need to meet in here. What we're going to do is a bit of a detail with a bit of a shear on this. There's going to be a bit of a step down here. So this is basically, this line here represents our fascia that puts into here. And there will be a 45 degree angle. I'll explain a bit more of the back in a minute. And then our match board, our soffit board will sit underneath here. And then we're going to step down 100 mil from this point and then come across and then we'll have a nice angle piece that will just slowly slope up into the rest of it. I'll show you that as we get there. But what I just want to show you first of all is obviously these two materials are two different thicknesses. This is 27 mil and this is 18 mil. So if we were just to cut a mitre on it, it wouldn't actually work because the mitre on here, 45 degrees is going to be longer than it is on here. So what we need to do is step this in to this point like this. This fascia, the white fascia, it actually needs to overlap into the back of our sapele. Just a certain amount, it's actually nine mil, because that's obviously the difference between the two. And then when we cut our mitre here, our angle, our mitre through here, will match nicely with just a little step out the back. So we're just gonna set everything up now to get this cut, and then I'll show you how it works in a second. This is our piece of timber. This is one side of our fascia. We've ripped it down to the right depth. And now what we're gonna do is get our biscuits in. We're not uh, using McVitie's, we're actually using Trend in this. Other biscuits are available. Pete's gonna just basically use his biscuiter just to get our joints in here. And obviously we'll mirror that on this piece as well and that'll slot everything together nicely. Line your arrow up, get it ready. You can get 10 and 20 size number biscuits. We've got 20, so that's what we're gonna set it to. And ready to go. Cool. Yeah. There we go. And then just one more here. Yeah, yeah. All we'll do then, we'll basically just fill the joint with glue, push that in, and then yeah. do the same on the other side, stick them together, and they will never move anywhere. Okay, just like that. Good morning guys, it's a new day on site and we've got something serious going down. We are going to get this roof on. I say we, Will is going to get this roof on. <laughs> Me and Joe are going to get all the insulation cut for the roof, but Will's doing the important bit. We're, we're just going to take the glory bit and you know, look at what we've done, whereas Will is actually doing all the hard work. Teamwork, baby. Teamwork, Teamwork. makes the dream work. All right. So you've hopefully seen Will's video of him installing this product before. So this is Resitrix. It's basically a two part system. So, well, there's many parts to the system, but there's two separate layers, which I'll explain now. So Will is currently now putting down this FG35 primer. So it's basically a primer which goes over all the surface that you are going to apply the product to. Then goes on that is Alitrix, Will, yeah? Yeah, so it's Alitrix first the insulation and then once you've got that we're going to get that all cut up get that put on like john's just said then we're putting on the resi tricks but we've had another little bit of a wardrobe malfunction uh -huh. and broke so i haven't got time to mess about so i've got to use this to get this whole section down so when john does shoot down mkm he's going to get me a new <laughs> i'm going to get you a new roller <laughs> <laughs> right enough talking we need to get on with this So, Will has absolutely smashed down the alley tricks. Next up, what we've got to do is get these collars installed. These are basically designed for this sort of application. So what happens is now we've placed these down, Will's put his vapor barrier down, we we'll get these screwed down now, and then we'll put another flash in that will go over the top over here and lap up this side. Our insulation will then put up to it. We'll then install the actual Velux window on top of this. Let's fix that down so everything's all solid. Will will then put his resi tricks on top over the insulation, lap up here and lap up onto the Velux, and then we 
we've got a trim which will run round the outside just to hold everything in nice and secure. One more thing we've got to do, if you remember, we put this little angle on the back just to cast any water that hits the back of the window away and then run down this way. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut some little strips and they're going to sit across here. They'll run down and they will, they will continue this angle on because if we didn't put the fillet strips in, the board can kick down like that and it's going to create an issue here. So what we've done here and tried to achieve, it's going to go against that and cause an issue of water pooling in this area potentially it probably wouldn't to be fair over that little span but just in case you know what we're like about embraces we're going to make sure that our fall is running perfectly down either side of this window i'll have to do the same over that one as well and then once that's done we all can get us flashing like i mentioned over the top of that and then we can get our insulated board on So what I've done here, I've gone as per the instructions from Velux and we've put our screws in, 300 centres, 150 million from the outside and then 300 centres in between. So that is nice and secure down now. I'm just going to continue that round the perimeter and then this will be nice and secure and Will can carry on with his flash here. So you might look at this roof and think it's pretty straightforward, just a nice flat roof, nice and easy to insulate, but you'd be wrong. Because of this collar, what we have to do is basically cut around this, because this is angled, what it's doing is kicking our boards up. So we can't just set our board straight onto this, we're having to chamfer the back of it out to actually get round it. Where our edges are here, we've got to obviously cut around this as well to make this work well. So it's a bit of a nightmare. It's not as easy as you would think, just cutting a straight flat roof. If we didn't have these, it would have been probably done by now, to be completely honest. If you wonder why it's taken us a little bit longer than it should, that is why. That's my explanation. <laughs> So guys, that is it. Everything is on now. All our insulated board is on. It's all glued down nicely. We've just gone around the joints as well. If there is a slight gap there, just fill these in just to make sure that when uh, Resitrix goes on tomorrow, there's no dips or anything like that. It's just nice and seamless all the way over. We've got a bit of an upstand there. That's completely fine. Our Velix window will go on top of that, which will create even more of an upstand. And then that will give us a nice lip up then to go up with the Resitrix. And then there's a trim that goes around that as well. So all we've got to do now is get this covered over for the evening because this stuff doesn't like getting wet. And then tomorrow, Will is going to work his magic and get the Resistrix on. So thanks for watching us today. See you tomorrow. Bye, Will. See you later, guys. Bye, Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Oh, no, there he is. Bye. <laughs> Today, we are continuing with the flat roof. Will, it's just getting these last bits of tiles in here ready, because our Resitrix is going to need to lap over those tiles there. We've just got the windows up, so these are the Velux windows that are going in. What we need to do is just get these fixed down. There is going to be a nice dome which goes on top of these. They look absolutely awesome once they're installed, but that's the base of it for now. Everything's stuck down nicely. We got some extra weight on everything last night just to make sure it was all secured down. So this is all good to go. Me and Joe now, we're just going to get these fixed down while Will does them last bits there, and then we'll get everything cleared off get it all brushed down and then we can get this all primed up ready for his resi tricks and then we're going to get our drip detail put on the side here because what's going to happen is our gutter in is going to go on here and then we need to drip that's going to basically go on here and then the resi tricks goes over folds around that and laps it into the gutter so any water that comes off here goes straight into the gutter if we didn't do that it would just run down the side of the fascia and completely miss the gutter so we need to get that on here next up while will is cracking on with all this so enough talking get some working done So 
So then guys, Will is now getting on with the resi tricks, getting all the flats on first, and then he'll come around then and do all around these windows. You can see we've got them installed and it's also primed up around the edges there as well. There's a bit of a lap here, which is basically gonna form our drip. I'm just getting these pieces cut now, which are gonna fit underneath here. I'm just cutting, we're using the waterproof MDF our uh, Tricor Extreme. So I'm just gonna cut three 50 mil strips and then the 50 mil then will be fixed into the fascia and then that will cause our drip. So I'll get these ripped down now, I'll get them painted up ready and then they can be installed. Right, next up what we're going to do is fit our drips. So here they are, got a machined up, so countersunk and drilled through. And what they're going to do is just sit underneath here basically to form our drip. So we're just going to get the back seats glued up, get them stuck on and then screw them, fix them in to the top of the fascia. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so every time we release a new video, you will be notified. Thanks for watching, see you next time.